Hi. <laughs> I got myself all dolled up so I could do a a Facebook Live. Actually, I have a networking event later on. You just get the pleasure of seeing me with makeup on. Just waiting for some people. We'll just we'll just look at my picture behind me as we're waiting. So I'm going to be talking about some of the things I've heard lately, excuses that I've heard. <clears throat> oh, that's very sunny. Okay, so I've heard recently um, from a couple people, no, I do, I'm not thinking of someone specific when I'm talking right now. I have heard about, I don't like shakes. This makes me laugh so hard. Okay, because I'm, again, I'm not thinking of someone specifically when I'm saying this. I've just heard this a couple times in the last week. So now I'm going to go on a rant. I don't like shakes. Okay, well, do you like how you feel in your body? Is your body where it needs to be? Are you getting top nutrition in your body so that your weight is falling off? So that is one of my things that just makes me laugh. Because I didn't like shakes when I started 11 years ago. I've been drinking shakes for 11 years ago. I didn't like having explosive diarrhea <laughs> for six months. Every time I thought about food, I, yeah. So that, I didn't like shakes either. I'm going to just keep staying in that explosive diarrhea state because I feel amazing. And so I'm, I wasn't into nutrition 11 years ago, but I got into it because my body felt like crap, literally, every time I went to the bathroom. I know this is too much information, but you would expect nothing less from me. By the way, I was at a church conference last night, and they prayed joy over me again. <laughs> and so, look out. Hey, guys. Hey, everyone. Bridget. So, the other excuse I've heard is I don't, I have to check it out with my doctor. You have to take nutrition to your doctor to see if it's okay if you can use it with your medication. <laughs> Um, why don't you repeat that to yourself again? Did you know most doctors are only, um, educated in medications and how they work with each other? That's very important. You do not want to be on two medications that do not work well with each other, right? So, but you need to go ask your doctor if you should be using nutrition or not to save your life. Um... Are you taking in all the taquitos, the chicken nuggets, and the mac and cheese in to get that checked out and see if that's helping your cholesterol level and your fat intake and all that? These are just some of the things I hear of that are so freaking funny to me. The second or the third one is I don't have any money. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna break this down for you really quick. I look kind of tired, but I feel amazing. Look, I even put makeup on for you. I have an event tonight. Um, Bridget, love my hair. Thank you. So, <laughs> thank you, Lisa. I have one person laughing at my joke right now. So the third excuse is I don't have money. Okay, I did some numbers for you. This is if you went three to four times a week, okay? Starbucks, 90 to $150 a month. Wine, beer, alcohol, 100 to $250 a month if you're going out and paying $13 for a martini like I have. Uh, fast food, four times a week, $400. That is $650, $650, seven, $800. That doesn't even cover any of your meals. Um, I can get you on a system where you can uh, 
pretty much rock out your weight loss goals and feel amazing. And yes, Jeff, not have explosive diarrhea anymore. Now I can't medically claim that. I can't promise that, but it has been amazing for me. Not that that's not a great pickup line or something great to put on your resume. I mean, cause IBS is awesome to put on your resume. Cause you'll literally have more breaks than a smoker. It's fun. And if any of my old Dex friends are on here, they know what I'm talking about. I just laughed about this the other day with a Dex friend. Um, so all those excuses are just excuses, right? So that's like me saying, I know brushing my teeth is important, just like nutrition, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to breathe my dog stank breath on people all day and see if I have any friends after the first day, especially if I'm a connector, a connector, connector. Could you smell that from there? <laughs> it's amazing. It's minty fresh. Anyway, that's like talking about, I know brushing my teeth is important, but I am not going to do it because I don't like toothpaste or I know going to the bathroom is a smart idea but I refuse to go to the bathroom so just like I refuse to put nutrition in my body by the way nutrition companies are not going to go out of business we have to have more nutrients in our body in order to function on a very high level so um, that's like holding it. That's like saying, I know going to the bathroom is really important, but I'm just going to hold it. It's going to be awesome. I'm not going to do it. All right. And my last point for today, because I know your lives are only supposed to be 30 seconds, but I still see people on here, and Jeff thinks my poop comments are hilarious. So... Here's what we got going on. If you don't feel fantastic in your clothes, you either need to get a new size so you can feel sexy or you can do something about it. There are tons of people out there. There are tons of products out there. You want to be with someone that is going to make you laugh, have a great time, and rock that out. I'm not going to be cussing on here. So the other day I put on a pair of pants that should fit fine. It literally squeezed a muffin top up over my waistline that was so uncomfortable. Julie, I just talked about you earlier. It was so uncomfortable. I decided, well, these pants don't fit, so I'm going to wear them all day and make myself miserable and remind myself all day long that I have a huge fat muffin top. Well, I have a huge fat muffin top because these specific pants literally rolled it all the way up to the middle of my waist over my pant line. Do all my pants do this? <laughs> no. Do I still have goals that I want to achieve? Yes, I do. Um, and we won't even go into camel toe. Okay? So this is what I'm offering you today. And be excited about my personality coming back because it's time it's time to laugh again and so love you and thank you for your time make today amazing <sighs> who's thankful I'm brushing my teeth today I do like toothpaste and I also like getting a tooth pulled out today it's going to be awesome because I refused to take care of my teeth properly, and so that's my consequence. So what is your consequence going to be? 